Is there anything more interesting than screwdrivers or wrenches? Yes! Let me rephrase. Is there anything more interesting than torque screwdrivers and wrenches? No! Exactly, you're right. Their main purpose is to tighten a bolt and a nut with a precise torque. Not more, not less. So, so far, you've been Mr. Trust me, I'm an engineer, using your gut. It's time for a change. Today, we will discuss how to use torque tools properly, what laws of physics stand behind them, and could you tighten a bolt precisely without them. Let's take two cases. First case, the nut or bolt is not tightened enough. In another case, they are best friends forever. They love each other, you cannot separate them. So, for the first case, it's obvious that a single bump in the right is enough to destroy the relationship or the car. Second case, in BFF, they are holding each other so strong that eventually they cannot hold it any longer and they break up. So, in other words, the material had too much stress that it went above its yield point and started to deform. In other cases, where there are a lot of connections, all of them should be tightened with the same torque. Otherwise, some will be under bigger stress and break like in a car tire. Now you know that every screw or nut has its specific torque, but what is torque exactly? You all know torque. Have you ever been on a playground taking a ride on a seesaw? When you are sitting close to the middle, to the pivot point, you will stay up. But if you move far enough, you will get down. You can even move the world, as Archimedes said. Now we can conclude that torque is not only applied force, which is mass and gravity in this example, but the distance from the axis. Torque in Newton meters equals the distance from the axis in meters times the applied force in 90 degrees in Newtons. Now you have almost all the required knowledge to operate a torque wrench, except for how. There are a few different types of torque wrenches, like a beam, brake bag, and the most common, which we have here, the click-type torque wrench. To set the desired torque, you will have to loosen off the bolt at the end of the wrench. Then, you twist the handle until it reaches the proper torque. For example, we need 105 Nm. Twist it until you will get 100, and then half a twist to get 5 on the smaller scale. After you have finished setting the torque, Close the nut at the end of the wrench. Now we can tighten the bolt. If the bolt is completely loosened, you can tighten it fast with a regular wrench. Then hold the torque wrench at the end of the handle and in a smooth motion tighten the bolt until you hear the click. After you have finished, bring the torque to the lowest setting. By doing this, we are prolonging the life of the spring inside the torque wrench, the same spring that is used to adjust the torque. And what to avoid doing? Do not loosen nuts with torque wrench. Do not let it fall or getting hit. The wrench will get out of scale and you will have to calibrate it. Calibrate the torque wrench at least once or twice a year, depending on how much you are going to use it. If you are applying additional extensions, you have to apply less force. As we already know, the distance of the applied force from the axis plays a huge role. If we extend it, we will end up with a different torque for the same applied force, just like with the seesaw. To calculate it, let's use this formula. Let me explain. If you need to apply 60 Nm to this far-to-reach nut, your torque is 0.5 long and your extension is 0.1, then the torque that you must set is not 60 Nm, but 50. This only applies if you increase the length of the torque wrench. You can add as many extensions as you want to if it's perpendicular to it and if the angle is kept straight. Can you do it by yourself? Surprisingly, yes you can! All you need is a regular wrench and a digital spring weight scale. So, I've got the wrench. What I need to do is place the scale here, measure the distance between the drive and the end of the handle, it's about 22 centimeters. And now I turn it on and I pull until it reaches 10. There. Applying precise torque is not only for bolted joints and machinery, but is also used in other fields such as electronic equipment, circuit breakers, and even bicycles. 
As we can see, those screws are smaller and more delicate, and again, applying too much torque on the screw will not hold it better, longer, or make it stronger. In fact, over-tightening a carbon handle bar on your bicycle will break it. And guess what? Your warranty will not cover that. How torque screwdrivers work The working principle is the same as in torque wrenches. When the desired torque is reached, the clutch disengages and stops rotating. We have here a few brands of torque screwdrivers and basically they cover most of the torque screwdrivers that you can find on the market. In most cases, you set the desired torque by rotating the tip of the handle. Lock the driver and do your job. In case of this specific via, you need to insert a key into the bit hole, set the torque, remove the key and insert the bit and do your job. The Vera Torx screwdriver that we have here can adjust the torque between 1.2 to 3 Nm. To set the right torque, pull down the top of the handle and rotate till you hit the desired torque. Another type of a torque screwdriver that you might find is an electrical one. It will make your life simpler, easier and healthier, especially when you have to install tens of circuit breakers every day. That's all folks, but if you want to get more info about this little guy, get to the link. Like it or not, make sure you subscribe. The next are coming. If you need more information, read the description below and have fun.